Yo, what's going on guys? Jared here. Today I'm going to bring to you a bit of a different video today, but before I get into it, I just wanted to say a couple things. Uh, firstly, I am going on actually a vacation soon, and I have some pre-uploads coming up this week of more decks involving the ban list and uh, Legacy of Destruction, so I think I have two videos coming out for the week that I'm gone, and um, so any if any major updates or announcements happen between now and then, I won't be able to cover them and jump on them, um, so I will be back later on next week. So I just wanted to get that out of the way that um, the next two videos are pre-uploads that I already have because uh, I'll be in California for a couple of weeks or for a week at least. Um, so yeah, that's just the first thing I wanted to say. Um, secondly, this video uh, is actually a different video. This is not Yu-Gi-Oh related. This is actually uh, something I was sent by the Elestrals team, which is very, very new TCG. So you can see this box is huge. This is compared to the size of my head. This next to my head is a ginormous box that they sent me. Um, so a big thank you to them for sending me this. Um, but I am, in case you guys didn't know, I play not just Yu-Gi-Oh, I play Yu-Gi-Oh the most and definitely the most competitively, and I'm definitely the best at Yu-Gi-Oh, but I also play, um, Magic the Gathering Commander for fun, I know how to play Pokemon, um, I play Lorcana, obviously, I play uh, many, many card games, I play Hearthstone, um, I, I can go on more, if anyone remembers Hunting, I used to play that too, way back in the day, um, yeah, just very, very, very funny stuff, but yeah, um, so the point is, I play a lot of card games, and when there's a new one announced, I saw a bunch of people, um, online getting stuff, uh, talking about this game, I looked into it a little bit, I like the artwork, I like the way that the game played, and, um, yeah, I was interested in it, to say the least, so I actually wanted to, uh, get some of it and show off to you guys, so some of the stuff that of why I was interested in it, um, and I'm gonna get more into that as I'm opening the the actual kit uh, for you guys. So um, without further ado, finally, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into opening this because I'm very, very excited. Okay guys, so here is the Elestrals kit. I have never opened one of these before. This is my first time I think being sent anything for being um, a creator, so I'm really, really excited. So, um, oh, there is a lot here. Okay, give me one minute. I know nothing of product um, at all. I watched a video of people opening up like different ones of these and um, I also looked up like the tournaments and the game and some other videos of people talking about the game. Um, yeah, there's a bunch to watch here. Um, if you don't know how to play the game, I highly recommend it. Uh, there is a video online that the creator made that is very, very good in depth and very fun and interactive to watch as well. I think I believe it's only like seven minutes. It's very quick, but you learn a lot. And uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. Oh, as you can see, they actually have like, a little roadmap for the releases right at the top, which is very, very cool. Um, that is very nice that you have a full roadmap of what is to come for the entire year. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, next up, we have what looks like a booster box, which, oh my God, this looks so shiny. Can you guys see how shiny this looks? There's like foiling on the box. Um, so one of the things, like I said, that brought me into this game was actually um, the artwork of it. So as you can see, this looks very reminiscent of something like Pokemon. is very cute, different colored um, anamorph type creatures on it, which is very, very cool. You can see this looks like kind of like starter evolution type stuff, but the game actually plays a lot more like something like Yu-Gi-Oh! and I think Force of Will as well, and it, they found a way to eliminate something like bricking in the game, which I think is pretty cool from my understanding. Um, from the way the game is played, because you have a second deck for pretty much your resource system, which also uh, counts as your life total, essentially, which is pretty, pretty cool. So, um, I don't even know where to go to next. Oh my god. Um, what are these? Starter decks? These are all starter decks? Oh, this is so, like, confined and, like, and tight. Oh my god, this looks so cool. This is so much. These are all starter decks, guys. Oh my god. I, I have got to force my fiancé to play a card game with me. It might be this one because of just the sheer amount that I have of it. And the artwork of these is so cool. But even the packaging of these, I think, is, like, very... Um, like, uh, how can I word it? Like, small. Like, uh, if you guys know, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Star starter decks, they have recently made them smaller because there was so much extra space in them. And this is, like, kind of exactly how I would imagine how starter decks kind of look should look like. It's just, like, a nice little box, tight, you know, exactly where you're getting into it. And, uh, yeah, just very simple. You have the card list in the back as well. Granted, I don't know what any of these cards do. You have the colors of it. I think that's very, very awesome that you're able to just get something like this. Okay, that's all the starter decks. It looks like we have some blisters in here as well. We have Shattered Stars, uh, two packs, and then we have some promos here. Wait, Netherth the Gods? That's Pot of Greed. Can you read that? It says, draw two cards. That is literally just Pot of Greed. That's crazy. That's got to be good, right? There's no way. <laughs> um, yeah, what else we got in here? We have an additional... 
I don't know what this is. One additional game card. I'll open that up in a minute. I don't know what that is. And then, oh, we got a playmat too. And oh, a pen. Look at this. Oh, we got a little water, little water guy. It looks like a water guy. I'm assuming he's a water guy. Looks like a duck. Acts like a duck. It's probably a duck. Okay, I think that's everything. This paper, just cosmetic in here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. This. Is, I might keep this box. This box is really, really cool looking. So. Wow. That is awesome. All right. I'm gonna move some of this out and put the mat on the bottom. I think that would be the best way to do this. Okay. So I got the mat out. As you can see, this is very, very cool. This. I don't know what this creature is, but the mat looks really, really cool. I like that it has the stitching on the top for their rubber mats. I think that's kind of interesting. And it seems kind of seamless. I want to like. See if I can like slide cards across of it. I think that would be here. Some multi rays. Like it, it seems pretty smooth for what it is, and they don't get caught on the stitching. I think that's a big thing. That's my biggest reason I don't like stitching. Is if I'm like sliding out in my graveyard, and it gets caught on the edge of the stitching. It doesn't seem to do that, which I like. Um, that's just a personal preference of mine, but I'm happy it does that. But I like the art of this a lot. The little creature down here it looks like a Valhalla type thing. Um, into the gates of it. it, looks very very neat. So I don't even know where to start with this, to be honest. I think I'm going to crack open these and get all the packs out of the way for these ones at least. So let's, uh, I'm gonna do another cut and we'll just go straight into that. Okay, so here are our promos. We have our four, uh, looks like our blister packs. So I'm kind of curious of what's in these. I want to get, um, try opening these. These are some thick packs. These feel like, these feel meaty. Like, I don't know, like a lot of card game packs feel really like white nowadays. This is just like, I don't know why. This feels like a lot, like, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, we got really good at that. Perfect. Okay, I don't know this pack structure. I don't know how the rarities work. I just know gameplay-wise. And one of the things that got me into the game, that were reasons why I wanted to get into it, was because they promote uh, remote play over things like Discord. That's a big, big thing that I think is very underestimated and underused on a lot of card games. Obviously, Yu-Gi-Oh! did this for COVID, but um, having this be in a the start of this game, I think is a very good place for it to be because one, you don't have travel expenses. That is a big, big thing that you don't have to worry about anymore. And because of that, you are able to get a lot more players on a budget. Um, also, this deck, this game should be pretty cheap because it's brand new, I would assume. Um, so yeah, so that's really, really awesome how that you can get people in remote play. Um, that's a little crack kid. I just love these little art. It, it's feel, it feels like a first set Pokemon type thing. That's, that's really the the vibe I'm getting of this. Like, look at that. Clovey. These cards look amazing. Like, even some of them, like, they look like they're on, like, like a stone, like, tablet almost. Um, with how they are kind of, like, ingrained into the card themselves with their little uh, green marking on the sides, you know, their color and whatnot. And like I said, I don't know rarities. I don't know what cards are good, what cards are not good. Um, but I really, really am interested in learning the game and what they can do. Oh, this is Wind Spirit. Okay, so these should be, if I remember correctly, these should be your, um, your, like, not your, your life total and your resource system. That is the cost of what you need to play them. So this is, this would be like a, a one wind cost card. So this would be like a one blue mana or something like that to be able to play, let's say, this guy for, uh, you need this one wind and then a blue to play him. That would be the cost in the middle of the cards. Um, so again, like I said, if you have not seen the uh, the video of how to learn, I would highly recommend it. Again, I'm going to link it down below because I think it's really, really interesting and it has a lot of good things for a lot of different card games. Um, like I said, I think bricking is going to be not an issue in this game. Um, obviously, it still can be um, with the main deck, but you don't have to worry about like mana flooding or anything like that. That's not something you have to worry about in this game, which I am a big, big fan of. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, I got another Clovey. Hammer of Hapitus. I my pronunciation is so bad. Eruption. That one I know. Very, very cool. Whoa, that is a cool looking one. And then we have an Earth Spirit. But we do get this one. This is a big one. 614 cost three. Very, very cool. This looks like a higher uh like um like a higher rating one that you could get. Was that the last one I got in this one too? No. Oh, I think it was him. He was the last one I got in the other one. Like, I love that this looks like it's like a level three type of, of card. 
or Elestral, I suppose, what feels like. God, I, can't, I can't stress how, like, what, like stiff these packs feel. It feels so different than any anything else I've opened. Maybe, like, I've, I've never had opened newer Pokemon packs, but I would have to, uh, to try them out. Hydrake, Aeromare, Glidesdale, Elixir. Ooh, a Foil Tornado. Target opponents, ruin, and return it to their hand. Very cool. Oh, this is the type of card that it is, too. I know that as well. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Like, obviously, this would be a creature's, or not a creature, but an Elestral. So this would be the attack. This is the uh, health or defense. And then this is a spell, and this is the type of spell that it is. Very neat. Oh, I guess there's different types of, like, Wind Spirit cards. That's cool. Okay. I like that. I like this foil. The foiling of the cards is so pretty. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's, like little like stars and symbols in the card themselves. Can you guys see that? It looks so, so cool. How it's like almost like a portrait in the card. Look at my foils over here, even with the promos. It's because I think they look so good. Okay. Toxicon, we have Volt. Spark Kit, oh my god, it's like all Thunder, or all Lightning. Quackle, Astro Bit, Thunderstorm. Oh, that looks cool too, oh my god. I don't know if you can see that, there's like a field with a little Elestral on the bottom of it. That's right. That's the focus. Yeah, there's a little Elestral down here in the middle of the Thunderstorm. <laughs> that looks so cool, that's so cute. That's a little dinosaur one. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Quackle? Quackle looking nice. Quackle looks amazing. Okay, thunderstorm here. All right, I think I'm going to move on. I want to see what's in this little pack. I'm very curious of what is in here because this has been staring at me the entire time and I want to know what is in here because this looks very interesting. A Galaxia. It's enchanted, swap each water elk shows with its defense. Huh, it's, an attack. it's like a swap shield, swap sword and seal, I think it's called. Very, very cool. Big whale. Very neat, very pretty. That is awesome. That is so cool. Oh, it's just a card. I'm so stupid. That is literally just a card. Silly me. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to open these starter decks in the uh, actual video opening. I think I want to do the box. Because the box has RNG, and RNG is fun. You can pull, obviously, uh, maybe some special rarity. I'm assuming that it's going to be in the Electoral uh, game, that there is maybe some kind of Starlight Rare, Full Arts, um, things of that nature. So I'm gonna do a cut until I can get this box open and then we'll just, uh, go from there. Okay guys, so I did get this open and it comes, I didn't know the boxes come with a little promo in them too. That is very, very cool. Full Tempest. I wonder how that would work in like uh, in like an OTS. I wonder what they would do with this promo. If it would be like a, like a random giveaway or if you just have to buy full boxes. I'm really curious of how the system for that works. Um, yeah, this looks awesome. It looks like a Full Art full type card that looks amazing these cards i love this card art it reminds me so much of like pokemon and then Yu-Gi-Oh gameplay and Yu-Gi-Oh gameplay is the, one of the main reasons why i am more interested in this game than i would say a lot of others because um it seems like that's kind of the route that they were going for with a lot of um good interaction between both players which of course i'm a big big fan of um okay so we got tadpuff jolton Wolfoy Forest, Drops of Leaf, Volcanic Forge, Globy. Oh, is this a non foil thunderstorm? Yeah, so I guess cards come in foil and non foil versions. Very, very cool. Bag of Winds, Larche, and then the Fire Spirit. Okay, so I think the Fire Spirits are going to be like manas um, that come at the end of every pack that we get. So we don't have to uh, keep going over those. I think that is very neat. There was a lot and love and support, it seems like, from the uh, creators, the designers, and everyone is working on it on the team. From my understanding, this seems like there's a lot um, put behind it from the people who designed this game, which I really, really like. Even the back of the cards look so like phenomenal. It just feels um, very genuine in a card game. It feels fresh, refreshing to see something like this, which I really, really like. Um, so, moving forward, though, we got... There we go. Okay. 
So we got Rutigem, Ursmog, Rat Kid. Oh, yeah, Quackle. I love Quackle. It might be my favorite one so far because he sounds hilarious. Tsunami, and whoa, what is that? Poseidon. Oh my god, this looks amazing. It's like a, what? What is this, guys? I, I actually, this looks amazing. This looks so cool. And then we have the spirit. That's whatever. But this looks, this has got to be something, right? This looks phenomenal. I, I, that has to be something. Are these, what size, what size card sleeves do these take? I don't even know. I have a Yu-Gi-Oh sleeve here. I'm curious, if, are these Yu-Gi-Oh sized? Or are they standard size? No, they are big, big size. Okay, so I want to sleeve this one because this one looks very uh, fancy. Oh my god, do I have a sleeve for this? There we go. Found a sleeve. Okay, Poseidon. Very neat. That is an awesome looking card. That has got to be something, something good. When you cast this Poseidon, you enchant up to three to it. Your next is Poseidon. That is phenomenal looking. Oh my god. All right. Oh, well, keep moving forward. We have Urscout. Water Smite, Smolta, Island of Malalia, Helios Chariot Rod, Necklace of Harmana, Shield of Achilles, Scavengeum, and Flatcher. Oh my god, my pronunciation needs so much help. <laughs> Elestrials team, help me. Make your cards easier to pronounce. Please. <laughs> Is this how everybody was for first gen Pokemon uh, cards too? No one knew how to pronounce anything? <laughs> Okay, so we have, ooh, Golden Apple. That's very, very cool looking. Jolten, Forest, Island. Oh, this is my mat. This is the mat here. The Island of Oelia. Look at that. Very, very cool. Helios Chariot Ride, Necklace of Harmonica, Shield of Achilles, Scavengeum. Oh, it's a, oh, it's the spirit. There's a foil spirit. Oh, you can pull, like, nicer spirits in the packs, too. So you can get, like, if you want to make your resource system where your life total look nice you can get upgraded versions of them cool that's awesome happy you can do that i like more variety in it i really love vipira that is an awesome looking snake fire snake you guys see this i want to appreciate this for a second like this looks awesome this little cute little fire snake guy it looks phenomenal like i can't i, I really can't underestimate how good these cards like look in person. Uh, we have War Mites, Earth Scout, Dratata. Oh, back to back. Same card, back to back, same pack. I was not expecting that. Another War Mite. Another War Mite. Got another War Mite here. What is this pack? <laughs> Five cards in, I got two of the same. Galaxia, Zepfrog, Javantis, Crack King, and then the normal Hyperio. Again, I could be wrong. I mean, not even. I, I don't know if this is like would be like the secret rare of the pack. If that would be like a starlight rare of the pack, I don't even know. I will plead ignorance to this. I have to look up after I'm finished recording this, which is you know, I'm very interested. in. We have Clovey, Opal, Mount Olympus. That's awesome. Quackle, Soret, Galaxia, Zepfrog, Javantis, Majesta, and then the Water Spirit. I believe this is the same one I pulled before, too. If I remember right, in the booster pack, I believe, I pulled that card as well. I'm going to have to have another uh, backpack for my Illustrial cards now, uh, too. I'm going to have so many. I have, like, four backpacks for different card games. I'm going to go through these a little bit faster now, just so that um, we can see if there's any more cool foiling of cards, because I think these a lot of these are just commons, so we can get through um, a lot of them. They look like... Really, really cool when you see like that foiling pop the way they did it. I think it looks amazing. Okay, we have Crack Kid, Rilla, Quackle, Igenthar. That looks interesting. Tsunami, Thunderbolt of Zeus. Oh, that is sick. 
earthquake. I love like the uh, calls to like mythology and you know things of that nature. I'm a I'm a big whoa. Throw my headphones around. I'm a big mythology but like lover. I don't know. That's just like a me thing. So when I see like little stuff like that, I I tend to uh, appreciate it a little bit more for those little callbacks. I think they look um, very very cool. Earth Scout, Warmite, Smogola, Earth Smog, Ramagan, Earthquake, Hammer that, er ah, Eruption, and Volcaries. Next up. Oh my god, there's so many packs in a box. You get so many. I feel like I'm like so far in already. I wonder if there's like, you know, certain staple cards that are in the game that you need to compete in tournaments and stuff. I'm really curious. Oh, that is cool. That's an awesome looking card. I'm really just appreciating like the, the artwork of all of these two as I'm going through them because I think they did, whoever the art designer is for this game, I think did a, a phenomenal job of what they, uh, of what they look like. Necroft, Ingantar, Telephant, Mobile, Mount Olympus, Scythe, Earthquake, Hammer. Oh, and the same guy as last pack. Nice. Got the, got the same guy twice in a row. Okay. Got the Island, Helios, Necroft, Volcanic Forge, Drops. Zephron, Galaxia, Boomba, and Graysdale. Man, did I get like really lucky early on in the opening with these? Now I'm curious because we haven't gotten a foil card in uh, what feels like like almost like five packs. I'm curious how rare um, these foil cards are because I've gotten two foils in this box so far, and I'm not. I'm like pretty well in. I would say I'm I feel like I'm above like at least ten packs. So I'm curious how like common or rare the foil cards are in this, because obviously it's not like one every pack. Tectaris, that's a big boy. A literal brick. He's a stone, stone ox. Oh my god, so many packs are a struggle to open though, I will say. I don't want to damage the cards as I'm opening them. I got Jolten, Tadpaw, oh, Sluggle. This card looks funny. Igar, Typhlant, Necklace of Harmonica, Tornado, Bag of Winds, Patacine, and Zapter. Okay. I'm definitely seeing some cards I've never seen before, because I don't think we ever got this guy. I don't think we ever saw Pan Patacine. Pandacine? I feel like I'm gonna get roasted in the uh, in the comments for this video of just my pronunciation of these cards. Hey Sluggy again. Kobe Chamber. Sniff, Earthquake, that's pretty cool. Oh, that, is, that is a cool card, like yin-yang type vibes from this with the white and black shark. That is awesome. So here we have the island, Helios, Character Ride, Necroft, Jolten, Tadpuff, Trident, Poseidon, Tsunami, Thunderbolt of Zeus, and the Pasadena again. Okay. Man, I feel like I was so lucky early. Okay, so I don't think... I, I'm starting to think that this isn't a normal thing. This <laughs> this, this Poseidon-type card, because it's very, very different from anything else that I've seen so far. Ampup, Nimbug, Volcanic Forge, Ampup, Neuroplant, Carrion. Okay. Oh, that looks cool, too. He has, like, a three-headed Cerberus-type beast here. That looks awesome. 14 3. He is swinging. Oh my god. Those stats are huge on him. All right. We got Crack Kid. Oh. Fentanyl, Quackle, Ursir, Clovey, Zepf, Galaxia, Kildo, and then Eagle Links. I'm assuming the last card before the. Uh, Spirit would be the uh, rare or something like that. I don't know if there's an indicator on the card that would tell me that. I'm assuming there is. 
I'm assuming that there is an indicator somewhere. I just don't want to bore you guys me looking at it. I'd rather get go and show you guys the cards, like these cards off for you because they look so, so good. Tsunami, Thunderbolt of Zeus, Crack King. Whoa, there's a big crack in my. The two non equipment slots in opponent's electrical row, those electrical shots cannot be used as long as he is enchanted. Oh, it's like a slow down, like slows down the game, it sounds like. What are blues? Is that like the type of thing that they go for? Or if that's just that card specifically? Crack Kid. Yeah, they're like evolutions because that was Crack King. So interesting that you have, uh, you know, stuff like that. Foamy. Oh, we got the Yin Yang card again. I swear, I'm pulling a lot of blue cards. I might need to make a blue deck. That might be my go to. So maybe I'll have to see if I can combine it with uh, the blue uh, starter deck and see if I can get some good decks going. Let's see what we can make. Maybe you'll even see me in some of the remote events that are coming up for the game, because obviously, like I said, that was one of the main reasons that I got into it, or wanted to get into it, was because I'm a big supporter, as you guys know. I have some success in remote dual events, and um, I'm a big fan of stuff like that, because, again, I think travel cost is a big thing, and I feel like no one has you know extra money laying around for, uh, for anything nowadays. So when you have something where you can just get the cards and then just play them online at the comfort of your own home, you don't have to worry about travel costs. And I believe the cards in this game are not expensive either, as far as I know, at least. Um, so you should be able to get, hopefully, a competitive deck for a reasonable price. If there's even a meta to find yet, I wouldn't even know. Um, I would have to look into it more myself. But I think it's a great option if you're looking to get into a card game, um, especially one from the start. I could definitely see this being um, a game for you in the future because I like helping people who are definitely on budgets. Oh, I got two sites again. Oh, wait. Wait, I just had this card already. This is the promo. This is Pot of Greed. We pulled, we pulled the same Pot of Greed, but it looks different. Whoa, wait, this looks different. Hang on. Wait, look, this is definitely a different foil I do it. This is the promo, and this is the one we pulled. Can you guys see, like, how, like, it's like a night and day type thing? Like, one is definitely brighter than the other one. That is so neat that they actually changed the background of the of the card itself. Maybe this is the symbol that it's the promo, and then this is the plain card without the symbol. If I had to guess, that's what it seems like. It also says PR1 at the bottom, and this seems to be the actual card itself on the bottom. So that would make sense. Very cool. I do wish it was a different foil card, of course, because you know then I'd be able to show off more uh, of the like beautiful cards that are in this game. But eh, it's okay. Let's see what we got. We got Nimbug, Volcanic Forge, Drops of Leaf, Necroft, Chalice Ride, Aeromare. Okay. Ooh, big Papa Bear. That's what it looks like. He's <laughs> got a little family here of everyone around him. Yeah, and he gets stronger with all the other ones as well. Very family oriented bear. That is awesome. I, guys, seriously, how many packs have we gone through? This feels like these boxes, you get so many that you can work with and to be able to, like, build. Like, look at this. There's so many cards here that you're able to build something with. Um, again, I, I really can't give them credit enough for this. Oh, this is the baby version of the bear, as you can tell. Chloe. Oh, there's another version of the bear. It's like this <laughs> that we have. Very cool. Ooh. Stratomoth. Wind Elestral. Very pretty. I'd say a lot of Mothra, or like Butterfree. Very pretty. The darkening and the light of the side of the card is very, like, interesting, right? Like, this is, like, all light in the background. On this side, it gets really dark with, like, a clear line right here. Very interesting artwork. Very, very cool. They almost feel like portraits or, like, creatures locked in the card. That's what it feels like to me. Um, very almost, I guess, Yu-Gi-Oh, like, in that, in that regard, you feel like it's just cards that are in, or creatures that are in the card. You know, like, those soul, uh, those soul Yu-Gi-Oh cards, what it feels like to me. Quackle, Rattua, Jolten, Foley, Reuse, Boombat, and, oh, there's another foil. Wow, we're getting all the foils now. Another wind one. Alex Tier. Okay. Getting a lot of wind ones now. It was also very pretty. I, I got This has got to be something special. It has to be, because we haven't gotten anything else like that. Oh, I popped up right in the bottom. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. I don't think I've seen this card yet. He does. Atlantis, Golden Apple, Clovey. I have to have like a million Clovies. I feel like I have to keep pulling Clovies now. Blazerus, Volcaris, and learn that. Okay. I wonder if I could separate these out by uh, like colors later. I'm going to be sorting these, I'm sure, later on. So I'm wondering if I should separate these to make them more easier to find in the future. Because some of them are multicolored too, like this, where you can use any color, I think. Okay, shield, scavenge, another crack king. It's cool, we got two crack kings now. At least I can remember. I wonder if any come in, uh, in the starter deck, the blue one here. And they do have the uh, the card list on the back of them as well. I could just check. Uh... Krakula. No, no cracking in here. Just the medium cracking that looks like. That's what it sounds like, at least by the name, I should say. <laughs> Clovey, Oble, Delta Witness, Tadpuff, Jolton, Tornado, Bag of Winds, Thunderstorm, Wheel Knight. Wow, that looks. Oh, wait, this is a foil. That is so. That one is hard to tell. That, that is a foil. Oh my god, can you guys see that? That is. There is foiling on that. That is like. A dark foiling that you really gotta look at that to see it. That is some hard to see foiling. I don't know if it was intended to be that way, but that is that's a hard one to see. I don't know if it's because of the dark colors it makes it harder to like. So you gotta get it in the right in the light just right to be able to see that type of foiling because that is rough. See those little sparkles on the side? That's that's the foiling. Like this one, it pops so much more as opposed to the, the darker color one. I, I'm assuming that is because of the darker color in the background. I don't think that that would be a intentional design. It reminds me of some like the old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You couldn't tell that they were even super rares because of just how either the design or the color, and it was a lot of people thought that there were super rares in older sets, um, or that were commons in older sets that actually ended up being super rare when you look at them later because it's so hard to tell that they're supers. Uh, Crackle, Sorit, Scythe, Spinoff, Scavenge them. Oh, Krakatua. Look at that. See, this one's like so much easier to see now, too. What an interesting art. It's like a... Oh, my God. Oh my God. It's like a fish underwater, but he has like a volcano on his back. That is interesting. That is a very, like... The designs of these cards are so cool. And they really do feel like those old, old type of Pokemon designs, which I love. I think it's such a good, you know, breath of fresh air, because Pokemon feels so like oversaturated now to get that breath back of like oh these are new something exciting they can make these it's very very nice Urskow, Dratea, Atlantis, Pegust, Bag of Winds, Thunderstorm, Globy, ooh Rise from the Ashes Target an Western Unknown World special cast it into that position so it's Monster Reborn this sounds like Monster Reborn very cool very cool art too like a phoenix over an Elestral to be able to revive back. You guys can see that. Very beautiful. And it's generic, too. You can play that in any deck. At least that's my... I believe so, at least. It's, it's a, the rainbow-colored Elestral symbol. All right. We got Oval, Golden Apple, Pegust, Eldnick, Tsunami, Trident, Eruption. Oh, what are you? And Phyrex. This is like a phoenix. It's not the one on that, no. It might be, this might be the medium one of the final version that's on Rise of Ashes. I'm curious now if that's what that is. But that is very, very cool. Very pretty cards. All right, I think we're coming down to the end of this box. I think I only have like three to five packs left, it looks like. Coming to the very end. God, there's so many packs of these. I really can't fathom just how many packs I've even opened so far. Yeah, P-Gust, Elegek, Smolda, Necroft, Natio, Earthquake, Bobby, Sunder, Pandora's Box. That is cool. When an opponent activates an effect that searches for it, cast a card from their deck, negate that effect that an opponent must send top two cards. That is very, very cool. Like I said, I'm a sucker for anything, like uh, any mythological thing. So seeing Pandora's Box is really, really cool. I love the way that they integrated it into this. You get like the best of everything between the art, um, from what seems like the gameplay from what I've seen, and um, the uh, like the flavor of the cards too seems very, very nice. Now I'm getting all foils. All the foils are at the bottom of the box, it seems like. 
Clifalophan, Inclair, Necroft, Iolan, Helios, Congeo, got Blazerus, Circle, oh, Circle of the Sky, oh, this is a card. This is also Foil. Some of these are a lot harder to tell. Wow, that is pretty. It's like another yin-yang thing, but it's blue-green this time. Very cool. Okay, we got Atlantis, Pegust, Elchick, Ursmore, Bag of Winds, Thunderstorm, Clawby, and Gatabolt. This is also foil. All the foils are at the bottom. That's crazy. We hit like such a dead spot after that Poseidon. It's insane. Very cool looking tiger. Tiger looking card. Thunder Tiger. Oh, we got two packs left here, guys. Then we're all done with this box. I think that is all of the RNG stuff that I have from them. So we have Sluggle, Ursir, Chloe, P Gust, Atlantis, Hammer, Earthquake, Scythe of December, oh, and Volt Tempest. Whoa. Volt Tempest. That is this card. Is this the same card? Yes. Yes, this is the same card. But this is the set one and this is the promo. Okay. Or I wonder if the B in the set number, I don't know if you can see it, but the set number there says uh, B21 or something of that nature. I don't know if I can get this to focus good enough. Very small. This is BS1, so it might be for a box, the box promo, but this is the set one. Getting a lot of the promos in the, uh, in the actual box, which is kind of funny. God, you only get one foil fire spirit in a box. I don't know if that's average or not, but man, if you want a lot of these, I don't know how many you need. I don't know if it's like 15, I think it was. I don't know. Maybe that's not unreasonable. But if there's all these colors too. I don't know. If you, if you want to foil it out, I guess we'll see. Last pack. Do we have last pack magic? Jolton, Leviat, Boombot, Galaxia. Oh, we do get a foil. Is that a crab? Mustachian? Is that a crab with a mustache? Is that a crab with a mustache? What an ending pet. Look at that. That's a crab with a mustache. That is awesome. Wait, this might be my new favorite card. Look at that. Looks like a crab with a mustache. Look at a little fake penguin or something on him. With bait. That is, f that is so funny. <laughs> That's as good as slushy for me in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's phenomenal. I am... So, so grateful for Electrals for sending me this. And again, I really can't thank them enough because this is so exciting for me because, again, I've been talking about how, you know, I play all these card games and having such a nice start into this um, to be able to, you know, obviously play it. And again, the remote events are definitely what I'm looking forward to the most is definitely something to look forward to. And again, I don't know if this is a, if this, this, this has to be a good pull, right? I'm going to look it up and I'll put it in, in the video right here if it's worth something because I have no idea because this is... Really, really cool. This is like a special type of rarity. So, um, yeah, obviously I've all stutter decks too, but I, I don't see a point to opening all these up. There's just so many. And it's all set cards that you can just see on the back. I'm sure it's all on their website um, that you can look through. It's so, so much. And the cute pin, and then you have the release order for the, the road stuff. So there's so much here. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you're excited for the Westerals card game coming out. See if it's going to your local OTS stores. And again, even if it's not, you can order all the cards you need online from their website. And you can also play in the remote events that I really cannot thank enough, them enough for. Because I think remote events could be the future for a lot of card games for people who cannot necessarily always afford to travel, take time off from work and things of that nature, being able to play from the comfort of your home is, in my opinion, I think one of the best uh, ways to get players who cannot travel a lot, like myself personally. I struggle from this in Yu-Gi-Oh! I cannot travel to a lot of YCSs like some players, and I perform well in the remote events, and I know I'm good at the game, but I, it's frustrating sometimes where I can't go to events because of, you know, personal reasons. So um, it's very nice to be able to play, will be nice to be able to play from this game from the comfort of my home. So I'm very much looking forward to that. So again, Thank you to the Westerals team. Let me know what you guys think down below and how I did with this box and pack opening. So thank you again, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.